The Missouri Botanical Garden is colorful and a perfect place to experience spring. For our Saturday throwback, we're taking it back to 1998 when the Missouri Botanical Garden set out to break a record. You know, it's too bad you can't smell this story. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Scratch your television and see if you can smell it. As I came in the front door, they had the bouquets and commented they were building the biggest bouquet, trying to break the record. And there are carnations, uh, roses, lilies. The record is, tw I'll say, 27,431. So we obviously need to get 432, but we're going for 28,000. The flowers are being brought in from individuals who are visiting the garden this weekend, and a lot of wholesale and retail florists have donated as well. They said, you want to help? And I said, sure, why not? So <laughs> here I am helping. And, it, and I, I, actually, it's quite fun. I'm not a flower decorator, but I love flowers, so. Narcissus, poppies. If you bring in 12 flowers or more to donate, you get in free, which is a real nice deal this weekend. We're doing it for a couple reasons. One, because it's a way to get people to come down here and find out how fabulous the garden is. And two, it's fun. Oh, it's really fun, and it's a great weekend for it. It's beautiful out here. Missouri's botanical gardens are always a welcome sign of spring here. It'll be neat, like, once it's finished, to stand back and look at it, because I'm just looking close up right now. There's daffodils, daisies, uh, dogwood. I'll think of some more. This year, they're a lot more colorful, too. Jason Whiteley, News 4, St. Louis. And if you want to check out the Missouri Botanical Garden, they are open Tuesday through Sundays from 9 to 5. Entry is free for members and $14 for general admission. And Leah.